let's talk about how to calculate correlation in Microsoft Excel. Now, if you want to follow along with this video, there's a link to the sample file in the video description, as well as a link to an Excel course. Now, correlation is used to understand the relationship between variables. For example, what's the relationship between the volume of rain and the number of raincoats that are sold? If we measure it over 20 or 30 days, we might see something like this. When we have higher volumes of rain, we have higher volumes of raincoat sales. That's looking at or trying to understand the relationship between variables. Now let's jump over into Microsoft Excel and try to do this. So in this data set, we're looking at the appraisal price of homes. And we have a few different variables to look at. One is the age of the house in years. Another is the distance to the nearest train station in meters. And also the number of convenience stores that are nearby the property. And then the last column or field looks at the price per square foot. So maybe we want to understand the relationship between these variables. Now, one way that we could do that visually is to generate a scatter plot in Microsoft Excel. So to do that, let's try this out by selecting column D and we're going to click D up at the top here. And then in Windows, we're going to hit Control or in Mac, on a Mac, it would be Command, and then hit B as well. So you should have D and B both selected just by clicking the headers and using the Control or the Command key. Now what we're going to do is go up to the Insert tab and, and look for the scatter plot. It's going to be small. And then we're going to choose the first option available to us. So what we see is a scatter plot, and it can help us understand the relationship or correlation between these variables. Okay, so on the left-hand side, what we see is the price per square foot. It's on the y-axis. And on the bottom, or the x-axis, we see the distance to the nearest train station. So it would appear that as the distance to the nearest train station goes up, that the price per square foot tends to go down. And if you've ever heard though the term location, 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 when thinking about real estate, this would illustrate that. So again, it seems that as we get farther away from a train station, it looks like the price per square foot goes down. Now, another way to kind of understand the correlation is to right click on one of these data points and then click on Add Trend Line. And what this will show you is sort of the direction that the data points are going in. It looks like there's a negative relationship. So as one goes up, the other tends to go down. So as we get farther away from the train station, the price per square foot tends to go down. So that's one way to look at the relationship. And we can also, what I'm going to do is just delete this. We can use the coral function for correlation. So we'll type out C-O-R-R-E-L. And then what we're going to do, like we've done before, is for the first array, we're going to select column D using the column header. And then we're going to put a comma and then select column B. So we've got both of those selected. We just don't have to use the control command this time. We just want to use a comma in between the, those columns. And I'll close it with a parentheses. And then it's going to give me the correlation, negative 0.757. Now, these values are always going to be, this is the correlation coefficient. They're always going to be between negative 1 and 1. And as they get closer to 1 or negative 1, the relationship gets stronger, just in different directions. As you get closer to 0, there becomes a weaker relationship. It becomes little or, little or no relationship between them. So in this case, it is a fairly strong negative relationship. Again, as 1 goes up, the other tends to go down. Now, what we could do to easily generate this is use the data analysis tool pack in Excel to look at the relationships between all the variables. Okay, so what I need to do first, though, is enable the data analysis tool pack in Excel. It's not there by default. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows, but we'll provide a link in the description for Mac users. And so what I'm going to do is go to File and then to Options. And then there's going to be a setting called add-ins. And then at the bottom, I'm going to see this manage section. What I'm going to do is click go. And then make sure I select the analysis tool pack. Now, what I should see now is when I go to the data tab, I should see the data analysis button right here. So what I'm going to do is click data analysis. 
and then I'm going to select correlation. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And as the input range, what I'm going to do is using the column headers again, and I can do this because there's this is the only data set in this worksheet, I'm going to go ahead and select all of the fields, all of the fields. And then I'm going to click this down arrow to get back here. And because I selected all the rows and because I have labels in the first row, the actual header row, I'm going to click this so it doesn't take in that text. It just looks at the numeric values. And I'll keep all the other defaults the same. Then I'll go ahead and click OK. So what you may need to do after this is generated is just expand the column headers and maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see this a bit better. Okay, so let's talk about how to actually read this correlation table, though. So you're going to see both in the rows and in the columns, the names of the fields, they're exactly the same. And then what you'll do is let's take one of these values, like this is what we looked at before. I'll go ahead and highlight that. This is going to show us the correlation coefficient or the relationship between price per square foot and distance to the nearest train station. That's exactly the same value that we generated previously. And again, it's a negative relationship. So as one goes up, the other goes down. Now let's take a look at another one. Let's see nearby convenience stations compared to price per square foot. Now this is gonna be a positive relationship, but it's more moderate. So it looks like as the number of nearby convenience stores go up and there's more convenience stores near the property, the price per square foot tends to go up. So they're moving in the same direction. That's where they're tending. And so that's how we'd read this correlation table or correlation matrix. All right, I hope this was helpful. Just as a reminder, if you're interested in the sample file or an Excel course, there's links in the video description.